And man, oh, wow. I never get tired of watching these guys compete. Oh god, that hurt. Oh my goodness, crushing it. Staying in this match with that kick out. Knee drop. Oh, what impact. Ric Flair is getting ready here. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. Whoa, he, he works his way out. A bit of a Houdini job right there. To the arm, hyper extend your elbow. Now it's Lesnar taking some punishment. This could end it in a hurry. This just ain't gonna do it. Whoa, he gets out of it. He's at another level right now, Mike. He's looking banged up here, guys. And it looks like things are about to get even worse. He's looking a little wobbly here, guys. Michael, his legs look like they're about to give out on him. Talk about history. Triple H was trained by WWE Hall of Famer Killer Kowalski and made his debut in 1995. The Blue Blood Hunter Hearst Helmsley showed a different attitude when he formed D-Generation X alongside Shawn Michaels. Pick the left. Oh, man. I'll tear your hamstring. Beautiful technique. Here's a cover. Triple H knows about making history. Just look at the battles against Shawn Michaels, Randy Orton, The Undertaker, Sting, Daniel Bryan, Roman Reigns. Triple H founded three of the most powerful factions in sports entertainment history and is regarded as one of the most dominant world champions this business has ever known. The game has also competed in more than 20 WrestleManias. Alludes that one. Oh my goodness, this hurts! The figure four! He's fighting back here. I expected nothing less, Cole. The great ones always explode when they have the chance. Yeah, but it's all about sustaining that effort. Let's hope he can do it. Looks like Ric Flair starting to... Wow, he got out of it. Yeah, I'm not so sure he had it fully locked in. Heavy duty right hand. Down he goes. That'll do it every time. No luck against Flair there. Are you surprised? This can't be legal. Totally ruthless, but effective. Flair is in position. Is he done? Oh, and he breaks free. Well, the damage might have already been done, Michael. Feet. 
He's left wide open here. I don't think he even realizes it. He looks dazed. This is about to get bad. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Now, Triple H can't be feeling good right now. This might be the end of the line for him here in this Tornado Tag Team match. We were very close to seeing game over for Triple H right there. Got red suplex. Making it look easy. When Brock is feeling it, good luck to you. Lesnar. Ah, uh, setting a machine breaker. Uh-oh, position in. Ah. That's how you put an exclamation point on the end of a match, guys. At the oh. one with a kick out. Wow. Max Handle finds the mark. They're going to lock it in here. He releases it. And you can debate whether or not that would have been the end. Interesting decision there. Now the old vicious head crank. Look at the torque. Rotating vertical suplex. Nicely done. Just shoulders on the back. And there's the breakup. Just in the nick of time. German suplex. Whoa, Triple H dodged that one. Back suplex. Ooh. Very nice. Nature Boy going on next rail on him. Reverses that one. A lot of damage taken on by Lesnar. I'm not sure how this is going to pan out. Don't count the beast out yet. He's dangerously close to losing this match for his team. He's in tough shape, guys, and there's absolutely no room for error now. Hooked up and a quick reversal by Rick Flair. Uh-oh, position in. Measure in. To borrow a line from you, Cole, that's vintage, Rick. He could put down like being manhandled by a bear. That's what he was looking for, Michael. What a great win in such a unique style matchup. Here's another quick look at some of the highlights. Check this out. He's getting it done here. Here. Oh my God, Bob.
Both legal men are in the ring and set to start things off here. We're oh, ready man. to go. When I think of tag teams that can make a major impact on today's WWE, I absolutely think of these two teams. Oh, nasty impact. I'm not sure how much he has left. He's a one-man wrecking crew. Nobody controls the pace of a match quite like this guy. During the rivalry between the Hardy Boys and Cesaro and Sheamus over the Raw Tag Team Championship, the teams became very familiar with one another. In June of 2017, the teams met in a two out of three falls bout on Monday Night Raw. The most important fall in a two out of three falls contest is the first fall. If the team can win the first fall, that sets the tone for the rest of the match and your opponents are playing catch up. Oh, what incredible power! Wow, what a vertical suplex! The two out of three falls match to saw the Hardy Boys go at it with Cesaro and Sheamus as a throwback of sorts. Throughout the 1960s and 70s, championship title defenses and grudge matches were often decided in the two out of three falls. Uh-oh, oh, oh slam! Here's his moment, Michael. He's going for the pin. Luke Gallows is in a tough situation here, oh, folks. Man. He needs to find a way to create some space or else this thing's over. He is hurt. If by some miracle he goes on to win this match, man. we'll be talking about this comeback for generations to come. When this guy's on, look out. Incredible drop. But he's running. What a stop! Good grief! I'd be shocked if Gallows has anything left. There have been times in sports entertainment when unlikely duos have formed, and over time they develop and bond and become an outstanding tag team combination. The team that immediately comes to mind is the powerhouse duo of Cesaro and Sheamus. After their thrilling best of seven series, I wouldn't think they'd develop into a top tag team. Oh boy, he is rolling. We know what this is. It's a stampede. I don't think anyone thought Cesaro and Sheamus would develop into a premier tag team. Over time, the superstars realized that they were better as allies than as enemies. And when they combined their incredible strength, the results were something that couldn't be ignored. It was really unbelievable to witness the evolution of Cesaro and Sheamus as a team. We saw them improve every week in cut. Oh, look. Luke Gallows in position. He's got the shoulders down. Barely at two and a half. Can you believe what he's withstood here tonight? The strategy for going up against Luke Gallows is to find a way to avoid matching strength with this man, who can only be described as a one-man wrecking ball. This is what makes him one of the best in the business. Man. We've seen this before. Oof. I'd be shocked if Gallows has anything. The shoulders are down. It would be unrealistic for a superstar to try and match power. What an incredible tag team contest. A lot of action in that match. Let's have a look. 